now you can see just works his way through one through nine. It's the pressure right there, that play right there by the D. They turn that puck over, it pops out front, that bit of a that bit of panic. He got control of the puck. There's no real bother right now, but no one's got Barnes. He's having his lunch in front of this net right now as he breaks free and again just sniffing around for those loose pucks on. But you can see right now there's no real danger. There's way too much space in between the neutral zone. Pretty easy with Kowski. But then it's that drop off up the far side where Green loses his man. You can watch Ross Keen right now. There's no danger. He picks his man and Green's a solid D. But then he bites through the middle, loses Haywood on the shot. Back down onto the boards. Stewart looking to work the play. Picked up in behind the net. Early chance. Pops it out into Shooter. Shooter's got time. Big rebound. And then he puts that one away. That is a pressure on the D right now. Right now, you've got to be looking. i got to shift this play. Bang. Big four check. Now you're looking at Wachowski coming through. Puts that one away. Just like the Haywood goal I said before, it doesn't matter how they go in, as long as they go in. Two goals just sitting right there. Christie's looking for that holding call, nothing given. Second effort, third effort, but you can see right now, there's no real danger, but watch the drive, watch the dog and Sarkanis right now, just grinding after that puck. As a shot comes through, when you're standing in front of the net, you're gonna get some lumber on your back. But you come through, he doesn't quit on the play, follows it through. There's three Leeds players, uncharacteristically defensive break, breaks free. This is where he's dangerous. You got a bad pinch there, and now you come one on one in the situation. It's that secondary play. You're not going to get an assist on it. But when Kieran Brown's going through to the boards, I think it's Barnes or Shooter. They go hard onto the goal center. What that does, Prince, get a good look right now. So right now there's no danger, but you can see that pop pop out, back and pinch on the blue line by Sarkanis and it comes with a nobody picks up Shooter on that play. He's too big, he's too strong, too skillful to just kind of put a glove on him. You've got to take him out of the play, but you can see right now, there's no way he should be scoring on that play. He also shuts the door and Matt Pound and says, this is how you do it. Comes wide on the far side, now he jumps up into the play, one on one on Henley. Forehand, backhand, back to the forehand, top shelf. And it's that little bit of a breakdown where you lose sight of Matt Cowlett on the rush and then he comes down on the goal tap. But again, just a nothing play as they pull their goaltender, Headley after Daniel Crow in, comes up on the boards. Just shoots it through. Looks like a from Brown will get a better look from the goal pro as they come through here. But again, not picking up players when they go hard to the net. Lewis Christie will be disappointed in that play. He does the work up machine in terms of he sets the plays up. He comes through, there's no real danger here, but watch Matt Haywood. One on one with Nags. Nags is on the run side, then it's bang, right to the back of the net. Just about position a couple times in the Milton Keynes. Steve just got on the wrong side. There's no real danger for Nags. Now he bites, gets on the wrong side, and Haywood puts it around. The cloth, but again, that brings an end to this game, end of the season. Both teams waiting.